everybody, Eric Kasloff here with an update video. Now, I know I said this is not just an unboxing and update horror channel. It's just this stuff I'm putting out now is good to hold over and to try to get my channel rolling while I work on bigger videos. In fact, what you are about to see now is a do-over of something I did yesterday. I did an unboxing video with all the stuff I got. Then after that, filmed a video where I pitch you a movie that I think is a pretty cool idea. Again, I am a filmmaker and podcaster. You can watch my short film, Her Name Was Samantha, on Amazon Prime. And in April, I begin production on my first feature film, Hillsboro Road, which is an 80s throwback slasher. Because Hillsboro Road could only take place in the 80s, my favorite genre of horror, like I've said on this channel, is late 90s to early 2000s. All right, now that I got that out of the way, let's look at all the stuff I got. So I'm going to start off with a book that I didn't think I was going to get. And that is R.L. Stein's Fear Street Dead End. Now, I ordered a bunch of stuff in December. That's why I'm doing a lot of unboxing and, you know, update videos. So I bought this book December 6th. It is now January 13th. I didn't think it was ever coming. It got so bad that I contacted the seller and he said, hey, just give it time. Basically, when it gets there, it gets there. I finally said I've had all I can stand and I can't stand no more. I got eBay involved. They were going to refund me my money. Then while I was doing the update video yesterday, I opened one of my packages and this book was waiting for me. I felt bad for a little bit, but then the more I thought about it, no, he probably got sight. He got like heat on him when I emailed him about the book not coming. Then we have a Christopher Pike book, Scavenger Hunt. You know, the thing I love about Christopher Pike books and R.L. Stein, other than the stories, are these covers. I mean, look at that. Look how awesome that looks. And again, the Fear Street one. This looks a little bit like the po one of the posters for It Follows. Okay, then we've got another Christopher Pike book. I think one of his most well-known, and that is Chain Letter. Now, a movie came out in the mid to late 2000s called Chain Letter, which I really enjoyed, by the way. Now, this book, I've never read it, but I've known about it for a very long time, and I thought the movie was based on the book, but... Apparently it's not, and when I read this, I will do a review for it. Okay, next we have the prom dress by Lolly Littlet. I know nothing about this book. It's a point horror, which is always a plus for me. And just look how awesome that cover looks it looks like a lot of fun and i can't wait to read it next we have just a scholastic horror book it's not a point horror it is by peter lemoniers jen no i'll put the name right here again pretty cool looking looks like maybe a revenge but it's most likely to die. So more than likely like a revenge kind of book. It uh, reminds me a little bit of the Fear Street Seniors um, line that R.L. Stein put out. Which I've never read because they're super expensive to buy now. Because they're really rare. Next, Dana Han, 
Funhouse. I have the book on tape of this from Book on Tape. Wow, showed your age, Derek. I have the audio book from Audible. I've listened to it a little bit and I really liked it. In my first update video, I mentioned this book, but I forgot the author's name. So yeah, again, can't wait to read it. Point horror, can't, can't wait. This one is April Fool's. Remind me immediately of one of my favorite 80s slasher movies, April Fool's. Now, if you know the movie, you know why I'm doing the quotations because of the end of that movie. Love the movie. Don't know anything about the book. Again, it's a point horror. I love the cover, so I have to buy it. All right, next is a VHS tape. Now, I collect VHS tapes. I had one in my last update, the third urban legend movie, Bloody Mary. Now, this is a movie I've been wanting to see for a very long time, and I wanted it on VHS. The DVD is very expensive. It's like uh, over $40. And if it's not a special edition Blu-ray, I don't feel right spending that much. But VHS tapes are a passion of mine to collect. And it was 20 bucks, which is right in my wheelhouse to pay for a classic VHS. Well, classic VHS movie. And that is Campfire Tales. Now, I knew very little about this movie. I knew that it was an anthology film that was geared towards the teen audience. I watched it last night and flippin' loved it. I will be doing a review on it soon. But yeah, if you can find this for a good price on DVD or VHS, definitely pick it up. Well, that is all I have for this update video. If for some reason you liked my incoherent rambling and you're feeling very generous, I'm going to ask you to do me two favors. Number one, hit that subscribe button. And if you're feeling extremely kind, hit that like button. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day, night, or evening.